Namaste and hello, this is your Sanskrit instructor welcoming you back into lesson number 80. In the previous lesson, we learned about the 10th conjugation. In the last video, we had practice on changing the verbal root to the correct verbal base as we were following the rules of the 10th conjugation. But in any rule, rules are always guidelines. So we have irregular verbs of the 10th conjugation, just like how we have come across irregular verbs for the other conjugations. There are four vocabulary words for you to add to your list right here. So sprih is to desire and it becomes sprihayati. The reason why it is an irregular verb is this ri is not taking gurna. It's a medial vowel. It's a short medial vowel. It should have taken gurna. But as we see here in the conjugation, it stays as it is. They're just adding the i and then the t at the end. And when we're seeing to cover, which is chud, a, when a takes gurna, it's supposed to remain as a. But as we see here, the conjugation is chadayati. So that is why that is irregular. Then for the same reason to wash, kshal becomes kshalayati. And, you know, irregularly there is an ah there all of a sudden without um, taking any type of guna or vidhi. It's just, it just happens to be there. And um, to think, which is chint. And this should have the a, the short a should have turned into an a, but again, it stayed exactly as how it is. It didn't take guna and it stayed as chintayati, chintayati, to think. So these are some of the irregular verbs for the 10th conjugation. And um, this is your Sanskrit instructor signing off with a namaste.